So you want to put down a PGR on your lawn. Well, you've come to the right video. I'm going to simplify the process for you. First off, some disclaimers. It's very important to read the label and understand how you're putting this down and why you're putting this down. Also, follow all precautions and warnings. You want to make sure your lawn is not under any kind of stress. If you're battling any kind of fungal disease or if you have insect damage on your lawn, do not apply this, please. You want to make sure you're applying this to an actively growing and healthy turf. Now, the product I'm applying is called Tnex, and it's basically a plant growth regulator. Without getting into too much details, what it does is slow the growth of your Bermuda. With the purchase of the real mower, I'm finding the lower I keep my height of cut, the more frequent I have to go out and actually mow the lawn. Between real life, work, and family, it's just no time to do that. I'm finding I have to cut every two days just to keep the lawn in check. And with Bermuda grass, you need to cut frequently, but every two days is way too much. So putting down the PGR will help slow the top growth of the Bermuda so you don't have to come out as frequently to mow the lawn. Now, what I found helpful is coming out a day or two before and actually water the lawn. I put down about 0.75 inches of water on the lawn in order to delay or prevent any onset of stress that may happen. With temperatures in the 80s and 90s, I wanna make sure my lawn is healthy and not under any kind of stress. So coming out a day or two before to water your lawn is very helpful. Now, the only way you can put this down is through a calibrated sprayer. Whether it's a backpack sprayer or one of those push sprayers, whatever the case is, you wanna calibrate your sprayer. Because I don't have a thousand square foot driveway in order to walk and calibrate my sprayer, I decided to cut my 800 square foot driveway into 500 square foot. So I walked 500 square foot. I did this three times to make sure my output was consistent. And I found I was putting out 0.5 gallons over a 500 square foot space. So that means I'm putting down one gallon over a thousand square foot. Because T-Nex works via foliar absorption, you want to use a spray tip that actually puts down a fine particle. So once you have your calibration down, locked in and ready to go, the next thing you want to do is find your grass type on the chart. Once you find your grass type, you're going to go over and decide whether you're going to use the residential application or you're going to use the golf course application. Basically what this chart is telling you, the higher you keep your height of cut, the more of a product you have to use. The lower you keep your height of cut, the less of a product you have to use. So I'm gonna make this really easy for you if you're having a hard time choosing between the residential and the golf course application. If you're a typical homeowner who keeps your height of cut at two inches or more, go with the residential application. If you're trying to keep your height of cut really low, then you go with the golf course application. Because I keep my Bermuda grass at 0.75 inches, I'm gonna go ahead and use the golf course suggested rate at 0.25 fluid ounces per thousand square foot. With this application rate, the table is saying that my height of cut needs to be at 0.5 inches or less. But because my grass is 0.75 inches, I'm still gonna go with this application rate. The reason why is because I actually want to under apply. You see, if this is your first time applying this to your lawn, you actually want to under apply this for the very first time. The reason why is because this is gonna take a heavy toll on your lawn and you're gonna see a yellow brown haze throughout the lawn after a few days if you go at the full suggested application rate. So you want to actually under apply the very first time. So another example of this is if your height of cut is at two inches, then you're going to go with the residential and commercial turf application rate. But if it's your first time applying it, you want to cut that dosage in half. So instead of using 0.75 fluid ounces per 1000 square foot, you're going to cut that in half just for the first time. After you've applied this product for the first time and a few weeks have passed, then when you're ready to reapply, you can go ahead and use the full suggested application rate. So in my case, because I'm using the suggested rate for golf courses kept at below 0.5 inches, 
I'm already under applying because my grass is already at 0.75 inches. So I hope this makes sense. So for me, I'm already under applying, but if you were already at 0.5 inches, I would still suggest cutting that dosage in half, at least just for the first time. After the first time, then you can go ahead and use the full suggested dose. So like all chemicals, you want to usually fill your backpack sprayer up. Fill it up halfway or three-fourths of the way, it really doesn't matter. Next, I'm going to take my suggested application rate. My suggested rate I'm using is 0.25 fluid ounces per 1,000 square foot. Remember, I am calibrated to one gallon per 1,000 square foot. And I have a four gallon sprayer, which means I can cover 4,000 square foot. So I'm gonna measure out the product of 0.25 ounces per 1,000 square foot and multiply it by four. So the total amount of T-Nex product I need is one fluid ounce. Once I have my mixture in, I'm gonna fill the backpack sprayer the rest of the way. Then I'm just gonna go and walk at my calibrated spray rate. Once I'm done, I come back, refill, do the same thing. I'm gonna fill my backpack sprayer up to the three-fourths mark. Then I'm gonna take my mixture, which is one fluid ounce. Once I have my mixture in, I'm gonna fill the backpack sprayer up the rest of the way. Then I'm gonna continue walking my calibrated spray rate. Now, after I put this down, I'm gonna follow the label. The label suggests that you cut your grass four hours after application in order to minimize injury. After my grass is cut, I'm done. Now, here are the pictures. So the key points to remember is if this is your first time applying this product, you wanna go at the half recommended rate. After you applied it for the first time and a few weeks have passed, go ahead and you can use the full suggested rate or just go 75% of the suggested rate. The whole point is to slowly introduce your grass to this product. Now don't forget, you need to calibrate your sprayer and you need to measure out your product. The only way to do this is with a calibrated sprayer. Now I've had good success using T-Nex and this is my very first time using it. But the key thing is to ease your grass into it. Go half the suggested rate. After you've done that and you're ready to reapply, you could go 75% of the suggested rate. But the main thing is to ease your grass into the product. That along with applying the product one hour after mowing or mowing four hours after application of T-Nex will help further minimize the chances of damage to your lawn. Hope you found this information useful and if you're new to my channel be sure to subscribe for more future content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later.